Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Outer Wilds. Uh, as I'm sure you all have guessed, uh, we are going back to Brittle Hollow today. Uh, it's just kind of the, uh, it's the grind that I'm on. That is the planet that I'm currently exploring, and it has a, uh, it has a lot to explore. Uh, today, we're gonna go there, and we are gonna try to get there relatively early so that we can go check out the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Uh, so we've found out uh, a little bit about it uh, through some of the stuff that we've read on Brittle Hollow, uh, but we don't necessarily know what, um, I guess, what kind of knowledge is contained there. Quantum knowledge, I guess. Whatever that means. Uh, let's go ahead and engage autopilot. Uh, last episode, we went to the Southern Observatory, uh, and, you know, honestly, uh, a little disappointed in the Southern Observatory. Uh, I feel like we learned a little more about, excuse me, I feel like we learned more about, um, oh, what's the planet called? <laughs> Giant Steep than we did about, uh, anything else, really. Alright, where's this guy's smokestack? Whoa, what the heck is that? Hang on a tick. What is this? <laughs> Okay, ship. Really nailing it, ship. We're in a treat. My ship's in a treat. Ship. <laughs> ship. <laughs> this isn't the... Huh. Interesting. This is a giant shard of, like, the quantum... Something or other. Ow. And it, like, moves around, too. That's ridiculous. Alright, let's read this. Uh, beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, so we made it to the <laughs> Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I don't think we, I don't know if we can get down there or not. Uh, if you are preparing to make your first pilgr uh, pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, uh, descend the steps uh, to the entrance below. Uh, I'm assuming that the entrance is like blocked off, and we would have to go down. Uh, the knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Cool, man. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that is that is a heck. That is a heck of a tower. Tower shard. We're on it. What is this? Uh, Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Uh, of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal the shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Uh, suppose there are other shards like this one. There are. There are. We know that for sure. Uh, the only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this grove, groves are related. Uh, in her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock. Sorry, I was distracted by like this, that little falling piece of uh, debris, debris up there. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found anywhere else on Brito Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? I like how they built like a uh, message board on top of this thing. Uh, hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. You know, it's kind of interesting um, because it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting because uh, the quantum moon, from everything that I know, the quantum moon is like just like a uh, gas ball, really. Uh, what it doesn't really, it's not like a stable object or anything like that. So I, I'm not quite sure how the uh, the shards in the quantum moon uh, are related. Uh, the trees are moving. <laughs> the trees in this grove uh, wander about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal. <laughs> even for this alien planet, and I never see them move. Uh, is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are uh, 
aber aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Uh, alarmingly, this isn't the uh, this isn't only the trees. There is only matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason too. Thatch, uh, thatch, it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis: This rock shard's pres uh, presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Uh, I want to try something before we do anything else. What if I go and do Hyun? Okay, so it doesn't move if the scout's on it. But it will move if the scout's not on it. Okay, so even when the uh, scout is observing it, um, even when the scout's observing it, it, uh, it doesn't move. Or I guess I should say, really, when I'm observing it through the scout, it doesn't move. Please don't let these stairs fall apart like the other ones do. It'd be absolutely terrifying. What is this thing over here? I don't want to go in there. Probably don't want to go in there. What is it? Where does this go to? Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Is this not the entrance? The Southern Observatory? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So, what is... Okay, I guess we go down. Oh, please. Please don't take me into the, uh... The black hole. It would not be very nice. Not be very nice of you. This place is ridiculous. Plop. Oh, can we not... Does this not work? It does work, okay. Plop. Uh, the crossroads. Okay, we don't need to go there yet. We do need to figure out how to get in here, though. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Bum, bum, bum. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need. Uh, for your journey. We've read that on the uh, the top. Here's the issue. Um, I don't think we can get up there. I legitimately do not think we can get up there. And... That really sucks, man. We can give it a go. I We might be able to. There's no way. There's just no way. How would you even do that? I would I would need to like go back to the surface and get my ship and come down below the surface somehow some way. Um Oh shoot, man. See ya. Is there any other way? Is there any other way into the shindig? Because it's broken. Oh, dang it. What the heck, man? This is not good. How do we get in here? I gotta figure this out. I mean, I guess in theory... I guess in theory, like, I could try to, like... Go in between here. 
not gonna do it because I don't have the jetpack. I don't have the uh, the jetpack like boost to get up there. What the frick, man? Okay, let's go to get the ship. Let's get the ship. That's what we're gonna try to do. It might work, it might not, but there's definitely some holes that have opened up. So screw it, we're taking the ship right on in. I, I don't know what else to do. What else do you do? The only other thing that I can think of is that you have to wait for this chunk to break off, go through the black hole, and then explore it while it's like floating in space. That's the only other thing that I can think of. And I mean, that is, that is definitely doable. I guess. Alright guys. <laughs> uh, we gotta find... There have been some chunks that have opened up, like right here. Alright, here we go, let's try it. <laughs> This is so stupid. I don't even think if we get I don't even think I can get my ship in between like the entrance. I don't think no 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 I can't get my ship in there. <laughs> this is not a smart idea. Um How else would you do it though? I don't know. I don't know, man. This is kind of annoying. I am kind of annoyed here. Is there like an op is there some sort of like secret opening that you can get into? At the top. Am I just being really stupid? <laughs> am I missing something just like crazy obvious? Okay, well. The only thing that I can think of... The only thing that I can think of... Is that we would just have to sit around and wait for this core... This chunk of the core to go into the black hole. And then explore it from there. But... That's no, that's no fun. I was hoping that there'd be some sort of like chunk out of this missing. And that I could kind of fly into there. Like, from over this angle or whatever. But it doesn't appear that that's the case. Let me in! <laughs> Let me in! Come on, ship. Oh, oh, uh. If we turn it sideways, maybe we can get in. No, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. What the heck, man? How do you get in there? Velocity matched. Great, thanks. Can you just land? I know this is an awkward place to land, ship. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll go back. Okay, I am just kind of... Oh, that just disappeared. Interesting. What the heck, man? I need some answers. I need some answers here. I gotta figure this out. Why did the Nomai make just everything that they build just really hard to get into? Honestly. The jerks. Can I go in from the top? This would be a ridiculously hard jump to make, I think. What is that pedestal over there? Do we go over here? Right. And there's no, like, any of those things that we can utilize. I just don't know. I just don't know. Yep, that's just not gonna work. That's just not gonna work. Oh boy.
Sorry, rocks. Um. What am I missing that's just. that's obvious? Can I stand on top of this rock, maybe? See, I just don't, I don't get enough of velocity, a boost off of that to even come close to reaching that thing. Surface integrity, that's great. Man, I don't even know. I have no idea. Why does this suck so much? Oh, here we go. Is this gonna be, is this next? I think this is kind of what I'm waiting for now is just this whole chunk to be sent into the black hole because that's the only other thing that I can think of. That's the only other thing that I can think of on, on how to get into here. Surface integrity, 20%. <laughs> That's not good. Surface integrity, 20%. 29%, not 20%, 29%. Does that mean that we're about to lose our, our cool? I'm kind of hoping that this chunk goes into the black hole so that maybe we can try to fly into it. Because at this point, that's the only thing that I can really think of. Let me in! Ugh. Oh, this just kind of sucks, because now I don't really... I've wasted an entire episode on <laughs> trying to figure out how the frick to get in here. Maybe if I start from, like, a lower stone. This might work. Um, okay. I mean... No, it's way too high, man. This sucks. Damn these no my. And their stupid gravity floors and their technology. Oh, come on, dude. Is this just... It's just it's is this just the way it is? Like you gotta wait? At this point, like I don't really have time to explore anything else. This is gonna just gonna be like the ultimate time wasting episode. Because there's just nothing nothing else I can really think of. Sorry. Sorry that this is so boring, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out a way to get in here. And it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to. Unless I get lucky enough and this chunk falls apart. But then again... It seems like all the chunks... What are you doing up in a tree ship? Surface integrity... Oh! We're falling! We're falling! It's going! We're going in! We're going in! We're going to follow it! I'm in my ship somehow. How am I in my ship? Which one is it? Which one is it? It's this guy. It's this guy. We gotta go back. Uh, slow it up. Slow it up. Slow down. Slow down. Slow it down. Slow it down now. Can we land? Can we land? Can we land? Can we land? We can land. Find a good spot, buddy. Find a good spot. There you go. Alright, we gotta really hurry up, because... Okay, there's not a lot of gravity here. Which is a good thing. Which is a very good thing. Ow. Very bad thing. Very bad thing. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. Put me on the floor. Put me on the floor, please. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the first floor. 
This can't be right. This can't be right, right? This isn't how you explore this thing. Or is it? Is there a way to, like... Is there a stone around here somewhere? There's a stone. We'll grab this, at least. Hey, 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 got it. Okay, maybe this is, this is kind of, I mean, it is kind of a cool idea that you have to wait for it to go to the black hole to begin exploring it. It just really kind of sucks. Oh, there's the quantum moon. There's the eye, so the quantum moon is by the eye of the universe, maybe? Question mark? I think this thing, this thing definitely moves around. So is the quantum moon by the eye of the universe? Did I, please tell me that stone is like right by me. <laughs> uh, okay. Welcome. Uh, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to like... Can I match the velocity, please? Welcome, uh, Solanum. <laughs> uh, Solan Solanum. Uh, your arrival here means you've completed your preparation on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine the shrine must be on the on the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. So we're running into a little bit of a uh, an issue. Because I can't put this down. <laughs> Man, this sucks. There we go. I can roll. I can't put this down. And this is completely annoying. Oh, but there is another thing over here. How convenient. <laughs> uh, Bells, if you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, you are almost prepared to set out... On this deeply significant journey, before you do, pause, remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Birtle Hollow and Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during the long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. Uh, this took time and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onward with you. Quantum Moon is at Timberhearth. So I don't... How do you... I, I, I'm honestly confused. Because I'm not 100% sure how to make it to the Quantum Moon. And the Quantum Moon is at the Eye of the Universe... How do we know that the quantum moon is at the eye of the universe if we haven't found the eye of the universe? What am I missing there? I have no idea. Go, oh, little scout. Uh, okay. Okay, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of missing something because I'm not 100% sure how we get to... How do we get to the quantum moon? right so the nomai somehow made the pilgrimage to the quantum moon so they knew how to get to it but every time i get into that quantum moon it's like it's basically just like a giant gas ball and i'm not 100 percent sure how to 
really get into it. Wow, the episode's over already because I took so much darn time trying to get into this place. Okay, so we know that we can, like, teleport into here. Not teleport, but, like, hologram into here? I'm looking for another a plate. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh, my ship has gone. Ship! <laughs> ship, how'd you get over there? Let's go see if I can catch up to my ship. And we'll watch the, uh, the supernova together. Whee! Oh, I don't have enough fuel for this. Oh, this sucks. We're gonna have to really jam ourselves in here. <laughs> let, me, let me in. We made it. We, holy crap, I can't believe we did that. That's ridiculous. Is my ship dead? <laughs> yeah, my ship is uh, not great. <laughs> I guess from me, like, hitting it or... Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I somehow the Nomai figured out how to make it into the. I'm going into the. I'm going into the white hole. We're going in. I can't go in there, can I? Nope. Oh man, this is. Uh... No, leave me alone. Okay, so, uh, so um, yeah, the Nomai figured out how to get on the Quantum Moon. And they have a shrine on the Quantum Moon. Maybe my understanding of the Quantum Moon is different. Is the Quantum Moon the, the gas ball that we keep trying to fly into or not? Because if it's, if, if it's not, I don't know what that thing is. I think that's what it is. But on the flip side, they're saying that the quantum moon is made of the the black shards that we keep finding everywhere, the quantum moon shards. But if that's the case, uh, uh, I don't know. How are they emanating from a uh, like a gas ball? I don't. I don't. I really don't know. I really do not know. Uh, well, anyway, guys, that is where I'm gonna leave things off. Thanks for sticking by in this episode. I know it took a little bit of time, but it seemed like that was the only way to get into the tower, is just to wait for that to fall into the black hole, and then we can just, you know, do whatever. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please definitely leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and while you're at that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys on the next episode.